Skuktash Vosic Bamoy, I'm in Ski Kick, or rather Tempe, or rather Apache Boulevard, or, <laughs> or rather ASU. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, um, Phoenix, uh, Tempe, Mesa, Chandler, Glendale, Peoria, uh, Scottsdale, all of that is Ski Geek, S-K, Ski Geek. And, and the reason they, they call it that is um, a key, a key is one house, as I've said to you before, a key is one house. Um, two houses is Ski Geek and then... Uh, uh, more than two is uh, kick, meaning more than one. We pluralize, remember, double the syllable, syllable first. So kick is a lot. So when there's like mega tons of houses, then it's called kick, right? Like it, if you're trying to say, I'm really running, you have to say simut. So that's S in front of that C, that S, I, S, E, however you say it. Um, it's like a lot, really a lot. So ski geek is really a lot of houses, many houses in uh, Phoenix. And that's why they call it that because there was very many houses or a lot of houses in Phoenix. That's why they call it that. Um, interesting to note that um, they don't call Casa Grande ski geek, uh, or at least they don't see it that way. Cass Grandi is noted as Wynum Wog. And the reason for that is the railroad tracks that's right there. Uh, it's iron. So Wynum is iron and Wog obviously is road. So Wynum Wog is really referred to as Cass Grandi. That's kind of the only thing referred to it. Even though there's a lot of railroad tracks in Phoenix, Tucson, blah, blah, blah. Um, they always just call Cass Grandi Wynum Wog because that, that because of that railroad tracks. As we traverse back and forth with our uh, Hill River uh, on Akimura Salt River Indian uh, um, brothers and sisters, we always go back and forth. So we cross that iron road. Uh, wine num wog, so they call Casa Grande wine num wogs. They do not call it what it is, which is guqui, meaning big house. That's what the Spaniards call it, I think. Casa Grande. Uh, we just call it wine num wog. You can call it that if you want to, but it's just always referred to as wine num wog. That's why they say it that way. Uh, for Tucson, it's really because of the uh, if you look, if you're on the reservation and you look toward Tucson or somewhere in the area and you look toward Tucson, you have uh, a darkness at the base of that mountain, of those mountains up there. So that darkness or dark or black is really called chuk, chuk in, 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 in all of them, chuk. So they call it that uh, chuk. Uh, is shown up, is shown up, meaning at the base of that mountain is dark. So when somebody says, uh, I'm going to Chukshan, they really mean at that base of that mountain that's darkened um, at the bottom. So that's why, and that's where Tucson got its name, obviously, as you all probably know by now. But that's kind of how those things happen. So um, I guess you could. Uh, say ski kick uh, when you're talking to somebody and wherever city you're in New York, Manhattan, whatever uh, Los Angeles or whatever there's like mega tons of houses and those uh, high rises with all those condos in there um, like way many more houses there so they call uh, so so you could refer it to as as a place where there's a lot of houses uh, and somebody talking to somebody would say um meaning there's sure a lot of houses there so that's why they call it uh ski kick um long time ago there was just phoenix uh the whole phoenix valley then came then they broke it up into chandler they broke it up into uh, mesa uh, Scottsdale and even farther that way toward um, Glendale, Peoria uh, and all those areas. Awatuki, all those are just like mega tons of houses. So they called it Ski Kik, right? So Ki is one house, Ki. 
two houses is kik or two or more is kik and when you want to say there's sure a lot of houses you put that c on in front of and any well any not any word but you could put it in words that would say uh c kik that's why they call it that again that s in front of ski kick uh, could be used for uh when somebody would say um uh see moich um, moich is a lot so when you're when you're saying there's like mega tons of moich then you could say see moich uh or 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 uh, people would just say moich or ami meaning uh, there's a lot of people or there's a lot of things there so that c is always try to you remember to use that because um that's kind of what the what it, what really means like there's sure a lot of or really raining see juk juk is rain like and, and somebody will say like if it's really raining hard they will say see juk meaning that it's just like mega tons of rain okay so that's your lesson for the day um uh ski kick uh, um is is uh, phoenix uh wind them walk tucson chuk uh, wind them walk kes grandy and chukron uh tucson i know i've been, been here on a, a lot and and i've been uh getting feedback from a lot of people that do see me now that we're opening up and i'm we're out there and i was at the farmers market or i was in i was in in fact i was in uh pissing the uh, talking and there was some lady that came over here over to me and said hey Sid and I'm like oh, okay who is this lady <laughs> and she knew who I was but uh, and there was other people that also came and 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 introduced themselves first time seeing me gave me a hug oh I was so loved um, but um, uh, uh, there there is other people that have said you know you you should start uh, start it up again and I know I've been saying I want to start it but I haven't started so this is the first video right here that I'm kind of starting to 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 bring back if you know so right now I'm in ski kick and and probably in the next few days or next days I'll probably start putting in some some more uh, videos so other than that hey this is it um